God bless you to all those that are watching and tuning in with us live tonight for our first premiere of our short film called Sweet Dreams from Victory Outreach Hemet. On behalf of our church and our gang ministry, we want to encourage you to stay tuned here tonight because we have something so exciting and so relevant to what God wants to do within the valley and in the cities that are beyond. We really feel that God wants to use this short film to minister to you, to let you know that Jesus loves you, that he has a plan for your life, but also that there is a reality that the enemy paints, and we call it a sweet dream. That's what this drama is based on, and really hitting home is the life of young people who are looking and searching for love in all the wrong places, and we want to encourage you to tune in. We want to let you know, if you can right now, we want you to like and subscribe our page but also share this right now you have time share this post so that others can get out maybe you know somebody that needs to hear the message of hope a young person that needs to get saved they're running the streets they're looking for love in all the wrong places we want to let you know that it'd be great for them to join us here tonight as we are showing once again our online premiere of our first short film right here in victory outreach Emmett. we're super excited for what god is gonna do we want to give you a short disclaimer and let you know that all the props and all the actors they're saved they're christians and all the props that we use you're going to see some beer bottles some alcohol bottles that's all props there's water in there there's apple juice in there none of the props are actually being used for what they're there for but we just want to let you know as a short disclaimer you're going to see some things and and we want to encourage you to let you know that we are a ministry that has so many different resources if you don't know about victory outreach we we want to let you know that we are an inner city ministry and that we have churches all around the world. We're an international ministry that partners with many other ministries to see souls saved. And we're so excited that God is able to do something with our ministry. Just want to let you know that right here in the valley, right here in Victory Outreach, there's a church that loves you. If you're close in the valley or you need a church to plug into, we would love to have you join us. But without further ado, we want to encourage you and lock in and tune in for our first time premiere of our short film once again sweet dreams we hope you like it and we hope you're blessed god bless you Yo, what's good? Damn, that party was crazy last night. Yeah, it was crazy. Are you still coming to school today? Damn, what time is it? Bro, it's already second period. Amos Vegas already tripping on you. This is the second time you missed your class this week. Oh. oh, my dumb mom was supposed to wake me up. I'll be there right now. Mom! Mom! Oh my god, Karen, where are you at? Every day, then. Why don't you get out there and do something? What? What if I need to buy stuff for the house? Shut up, already. Leave me alone. Just wanna yell. You just wanna fight all the time. All you wanna do is fight.
don't even know why it's in this house all the time. You guys make it all dirty. You just act like you clean this house. You better stop that already. Well, that dog you brought home. You know what? I don't need to hear about, about no dog. All I need to worry about is you cleaning. Hey, where do you think you're going? It's Monday. I'm going to school. What are you talking back to me for? I'm sick and tired of you moping around just like your mom. Hey. She, you need to shut up already. Leave hey, I'm not done talking to you. I hate him. Hey, Sam. Do you check social media? Oh. Jacob's having another party on Friday. Oh, I wouldn't really know. I don't have him on social media. What do you mean you don't have him on social media? He's checking you out right now. What do you mean he's checking me out? He's checking for you not having social media, girl. He's all up on you. What do you mean? Just chill out. Is, is my hair okay? G girl, you look fine. Hey, Trina, you hear about that that party this Friday? Yeah, I heard about it. It's all over social media. Oh, yeah, everybody, everybody gonna be there. You should come too. Yeah, we'll be there. That's my boy. Why'd you say that we were gonna be there? Because we're going? No, I can't be there. Girl, we're going. You're gonna look somewhat nice. Yeah, we're going. You know what? Miss Vega needed me for something. Well, nothing really, but I'll see you later. Hi, Sam. Oh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. We miss you at gang on Tuesday. Everyone misses you. Oh, well, I've been kind of busy lately, so. Oh, well, we want. I just wanted to invite you tomorrow night if you wanted to come. You're more than welcome. Okay, I, I think I can try and come. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Good to see you. Waldo! Yo, Waldo, where's my homework? Yeah, I, I could have finished it. I'd like to do it. No excuses! Um, yeah, sure, I guess. Okay, I'll go get her. I'm so excited that you're here. I was getting ready for church. I thought church was only on Sundays. Well, my friend invited me to her youth service. Whatever, we don't have time for that right now. We're going to Jacob's party on Friday. We're going shopping. I thought she said she was out here. She was right here. What the heck is wrong with you? Why does the school keep calling me? What the heck's wrong with I don't you? Have time for this? You never had time for us. You're nothing. But yourself and your stupid You're just secretary. sucking the life out of me, using you know all what? my money. I'm over this. You know what? You're just I'm like done. your mom. You're worthless. Ah!
Hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Been too long for me. So cheap and your flex so deep. Sex so deep. You got it, girl. You got it. You got it, girl. You got it. Yeah. Pretty little thing. You got a bag and now you violent. You just took it off the line. No mileage. Way they hitting you. The DM looking violent. Talking while you come around and I decided. 17, no guidance. You be staying low, but you know what the fight is. Ain't never got you know it being modest. Popping shit, but only cause you know you popping. Yeah, you got it, girl. You got it. Hey. You got it, girl. You got it. Yeah, gang on Tuesday. Oh, well, I, I couldn't get a ride. Really? I heard you showed up, but you ended up leaving. So, what's really going on with you? Nothing. I'm fine. You know you can talk to me, right? You know I'm here for you. Hey, Sam. I had a good time talking to you last night. You come to my party tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, because I really want to spend some time with you. Well, I would like to spend some more time with you as well. Don't be scared. I don't bite. Yo, Jacob! What are you doing? Get over here, man! Okay, I'll see you now tomorrow, okay? Now, just smooch! So, um, when did, when did you start talking to him? Well, why do you care? I'm just looking out for you. You know how he is. Um, do you really know how he is? Because he's not like that. He actually cares about me. You, you don't even talk to me. What do you mean I don't talk to you? You're the one that doesn't talk to me. You close yourself off of, from everybody and once Jacob wants to talk to you, you become a whole different person. A different person? You're the one who got saved and all of a sudden you're a different person. I don't, I don't even know who you are anymore. You used to party with Jacob. I'm just looking out for you because I know how he is. I know what it's like to want to fit in with the crowd, but there's a difference between wanting to fit in and becoming someone you're not. You know God has a plan for your life, so why are you acting like this? You know what? I gotta go, but you know where to find me if you need to talk.
already know. Yeah, you already know. Um, see on the list, but look very familiar. Familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Oh, what's up? Um, don't look familiar. I think I got the wrong person. Enjoy yeah, yourself. Have a good time. Hey Mikey, I'm here for the party. Are you on the list? Of course I'm on the list. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, I don't... You're on the list? I'm on the list. I don't see your name, Sarah. I'm right there. Uh, I look like that. Ugh. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm here for the party. Does Mom know you're here? Does she know you're here? <laughs> Hey Mikey. Hey Katrina. How are you? Good, and you? We're you on, good, we're here to party. You on the list? Of course we're on the list. There you are on top. Oh, always on the top. Is your friend on the list? Yes, yeah, she's on the list. Handle it. Yes, yeah, she got a special invite. Throw yourself. Too bad no one's ever even home to enjoy it with me. What do you mean? I see you with girls and stuff all the time. Girls? That's not even the people I want. Well, what do you want? I want you. Anyways, so your parents allow you to have parties here all the time? Nah, they're never home. How's it going at your perfect house? Oh, well, you know, the usual. Everything's great. Well, maybe you should come spend a little bit more time with me. That way you don't have to be at your parents'. That doesn't sound too bad. 
Hey, lovebirds! I know you guys need your alone time, but I need you to meet the new crew. These are the freshest meats. They say you can't take two modellos and a couple of these at the same time. Yo, are we gonna do this or what? Do you guys think that's a good idea? Girl, you don't even know him. Hey, I do this all the time. I'll be fine. Let's go. Nobody pray for me. It been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. Finesse and none them with some counterfeits. But now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant lives. In fact, I'm down in this. Do say with my boo, they taste like too late. My left stroke just went viral Right stroke, put a baby in a spiral Soprano C, we like to keep it on the high note It's levels to it, you and I know Tell them be humble, hold up, sit hold down up, hold up, hold up, Be humble, hold up, sit hold up, down, sit down, sit down Be humble, hold up, hold up, hold up sit hold down hold up, hold up, hold up, Be humble, hold up, hold up, sit down hold up, hold up, hold up, Be humble, hold up, hold up, hold up sit hold down hold up, Sit down, holla, 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 sit down, holla, 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 holla. Ooh, that arm um, thinking that he front no man. Get the arm um, off my stage, I'm the set man. Get the arm um, off my hey, that ain't right. I make a play blowing up your whole life. I'm so so sick and tired of the Photoshop. Show me something natural like Afro Roll with your pride. Show me something natural. I want Last night, and everything was going great. 
you know, me and Jacob hung out and he took me outside and we were talking and he even told me that he liked me and we were even about to kiss. And then all of a sudden just things started going downhill. His friends made him take some pills and then he passed out and I thought that he was dead. So we were trying to save him. And all of a sudden, it's like something just started to take over him. He started pushing everybody away, even his friends. And I thought, you know, since, you know, we were talking and he liked me, maybe I could help him. So I went up to him and. And he slapped me. How could he do this to me? We were, we were talking about everything. I told him about my life. I told him about my feelings and, and the things that were going on in my family. And I was there for him. And he just went and slapped me. I just, I just feel so used. I feel so worthless right now. Sam, it's not your fault, okay? You need to understand that you couldn't have done anything to prevent that from happening. God still has his hands upon you. You could have been in that position. You could have been the one almost dying. But God knows. You know he has a plan for you. I just feel like I'm in this bad dream. And I want to get out, but I don't know how. Amen. And what you just saw is, is reality. It is reality what is taking place right now, not just with our young people, but in homes all across America. We see that many young people and, and just people in general are searching. They're looking for an answer and a way out. They feel trapped, like Samantha said, like they're in this dark dream that they can't get out of. And I'm here to let you know that we have the answer. We have the answer. We have the answer, and the answer is Jesus. The answer is Jesus, that he wants to come in to that broken home, to that broken relationship, to that, that broken family. Maybe you're having problems with your kids, and they're living this lifestyle. They're living this lifestyle, and they're running the streets. They're, they're running rapid. They're, they have a drug addiction. I'm here to let you know our ministry has the answer, and that is Jesus. We also have recovery homes that they could come into, and, and we have services that are available for that to bring change and to bring home. But I want to let you know, my friend, the Bible says this in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and that whoever would believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And if that's you right now and you're feeling a tug in your heart, you're feeling like, man, you know what, that 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 short film that you guys just showed, I'm living that or my daughter's living that my son is living that I've seen frustration all over in my family I have this thing this this anxiety that it brings and you're saying man I want peace in my life Abraham I want God I want to experience God in a new way I want to experience God the way that you're telling me that he can bring peace that he can bring love that he can bring joy I want to lead you into a prayer we call the sinner's prayer and I want to lead you to the Lord because I believe that if you pray this prayer and you mean it from the bottom of your heart that God is going to touch you that God is going to save you and that miracles are going to begin to take place. If that's you right there, I want you to say this prayer and repeat after me. I want you to say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and I'm in need of a savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins, for my hangups and for my wrongdoing. And I'm asking that you would come into my heart and that you would change my life, that you would begin to do a work in my life and that you would help me to get planted into a good church where I can grow in the things of God and leave, Father God, this dream that I've been living in, this dark dream, this, this nightmare that I've been living in behind me. I pray and ask this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, 
Amen and amen. We want to thank you so much for joining us. We want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. We want to thank you that you were not only just a spectator, but that you shared this, that you liked it, that you also repost the replay and you send it to your friends and your families. On behalf of our pastors right here in the valley of Victory Outreach Hemet, Pastor Luis and Sister Judy and the Victory Outreach Hemet family, we want to thank you for tuning in here tonight and joining us as our we had our premiere of sweet dreams we want to tell you that jesus loves you that he has a plan for you for those that gave their life to the lord this is just the beginning of what god wants to do in your life that feeling that you're feeling inside it's just the beginning of the new life god wants to give you we encourage you to like and subscribe all of our platforms from youtube facebook and instagram at victory outreach hemet you could check out all our resources at vohemet.org. And we want to encourage you to continue to partner with us as we believe God to reach more souls, not only here in the valley, but all over the world by the message and the hope and the plan of Jesus Christ. We love you and we'll see you soon. God bless you.